Hey guys, uh, so in this video I'm going to show quickly how you can implement uh, CI-CD uh, with a Blazor server application. We will uh, create a uh, Blazor server application uh, and uh, using Azure DevOps and uh, pipelines over there, we will deploy the application to, to Azure and go through the, the steps very, very fast. This will be a super duper quick uh, demonstration of the implementation there's this is not like a best practice uh, again this is just me demonstrating this solution really really fast okay so in in order, order to start we need to go to our uh, to our uh, devops organizations we, and we can do that by going to this resource devops organization and then go to my devops organizations then you're going to be prompted to this page if you don't know what the Azure DevOps is, you should maybe uh, 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 go watch a tutorial about that or something because this is not an Azure DevOps tutorial. Uh, this is just an implementation. From here, we will create a new project. I will just call this uh, Blazor uh, Server. Uh, Blazor Server App. And we're just going to go create. Again, no best practices included here. Just a quick demonstration. Now we want to go to repos. We're gonna. Uh, we don't actually don't have to in initialize one from here. We're gonna go start Visual Studio Code. Uh, Visual Studio. From here we create create a new uh, Blazor server application. So we'll go Blazor server. We'll go next. I'm gonna t I'm gonna name it. Uh, uh, blazer uh, demo go next so now that the project is created we can just uh, run it real fast to see what we have to uh, play around with so basically this is a blazer server app it's uh, a, a website uh, I will show you guys uh, the template uh, one moment, my <laughs> my computer is kind of uh, slow today. Uh, so you see, it's kind of a a, a website with some some uh, some tabs, uh, and it's hosted on local host for now, right? So we'll take this and we're gonna add it to our source control. So usually, we'll, when we add to source control, we'll go GitHub. For now, we'll take Azure DevOps, and then you have to sign in, of course. And then I'll, I'm signed in, and then you see it finds my organization. I can choose between the different organizations. I'm going to take my project, and my, the project I just called it uh, Blazor Server App, and I'm going to press Create and Push. What this is going to do is it's going to create a repository in my Azure DevOps uh, portal. Uh, and uh, from there, we're going to create our first CI pipeline. There, this should be finished. So let's go to Azure DevOps. We're going to refresh this page. And now we should have, a, let's see, Blazor server app. Uh, here we go, a Blazor demo. So it created a new project called Blazor Dem demo. And here's the code. From here, we'll go and create a pipeline. and. <clears throat> Since this is Azure, their uh, templates are pretty good. So we're going to go use the classic editor for the CI pipeline. And we're going to choose uh, the master repo. <coughs> Again, uh, this is not best practices. You should uh, set it up properly uh, the, on the branches you want. I'm going to go with uh, ASP.NET Core, the template here. And I'm going to first. I'm going to choose the uh, Windows latest, and then I'm going to go on the agent, and I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to choose Windows latest here as well. Then we're going to disable the the test because we don't have any tests uh, currently, and then I'm just going to, to look through it real fast. Publish. Okay, we'll do save and queue. And we'll run this CI pipeline. So this this pipeline should work out of the box uh, with the template. We'll see. And if it works properly, the the drop, the artifact that it uh, should uh, create for us would be on a zip uh, zip folder. So this will take a minute or two. 
So now we're back again. This took like three minutes, and it seems like everything uh, was a green check. We're gonna go back and we're gonna check the artifact. And if we go to related, we can see that it's done created an artifact. And the, here we have a blazer demo zip. So now that we have our CI pipeline that creates an artifact, I can now go to release pipeline, uh, create a new pipeline from here. This pipeline will trigger whenever. Uh, so trigger whenever a build pipeline is done and that build pipeline is the one I just created, right? This is the default name of the CI pipeline I just created. And then we're going to trigger continuous deployment like that. And then what's going to happen? Well, basically, whenever our CI pipeline is done and creates a, a, a artifact for us, we want to take that artifact and deploy it to our Azure app service. Uh, but in order for me to do that, I have to actually create my, my app service. So I'm going to navigate back to Azure and we're going to go to app services and we're going to create an app service real, real fast. So we go to app services, we'll create a new resource group. I'm going to create this uh, Blazor uh, demo RG, create OK, give it a name, Blazor demo 123 to make sure it's unique, uh, write that. And we're going to code and the runtime stack is .NET 7 and then we'll do Windows region, West Europe. There we go, we'll create a new uh, plan, I'll just call it uh, Blazor demo and then we'll use the standard one that's fine uh, we'll do review and create uh, so uh, it should be uh, created in any moment any minute uh, so I created an app service I'm going to make sure that this app service is up and running uh, and then after I've done that I'm going to create my uh, my first step in my release pipeline Okay, so let's navigate to our resource group. Uh, from here, we can see that it's not uh, finished quite yet. We'll refresh. I'm really impatient with these kind of things. There we go. So there, there's our app service, and we can go to our app service. So here's my app service. I, I hide some windows so that uh, some things don't show. Here you can see that it's uh, indeed a web app that's up and running uh, with the default template that uh, Azure provides us. Now we can go back to uh, Azure DevOps. Here in our release pipeline, we can do go to add stage. Here we'll go empty job. Uh, and we'll do one press one job one task we'll make sure that this runs also on windows latest here and then we'll add one step and we'll use this one azure app service deploy we'll press add from here we'll go here and we need to add some stuff so the first thing is you need to add the subscription so you need to add relevant subscription uh, to whatever you're using uh, there we go. So I have to, <laughs> I have to hide my my subscription ID. So basically, you choose a subscription and then you press authorize. If you have a problem with that, well, I don't know. Write me a comment or send me an email or something, and I'll help you out with that. But basically, you have to connect uh, connect a service connection. And uh, from here, we want to add uh, the app service name and some other things. And I will pause the recording again. So I chose the correct app service. I have a couple, but uh, Blazor Demo 123 was the one I created. Then for the package or folder here, uh, we'll, we're going to press these three dots over here. Now in this window, you have to open up and press the Blazor Demo.zip, right? Make sure that it's uh, the location is something something drop Blazor Demo Zip, right? So don't uh, choose whatever default in this section. Press the three dots and locate your zip folder and then press OK. Now after that's done, you can press save and now everything should should uh, be set up uh, properly. And let's first manually test, uh, test the release. Uh, so we'll press uh, create release here and then we'll uh, just press create and now we've triggered our release. Uh, from here we can press this one and I'm not going to press the logs but if you want to see the logs you can press logs and you will see the each step uh, the application is taking the reason I don't want to show it is because you can see the subscription ID and, and then I have to you know work to hide it 
Uh, anyways, so it's now uh, downloading the artifact and then we'll take this artifact and it will deploy it to the uh, app service. And this takes also maybe like 30 seconds or to a minute or so. There we go. Uh, two minutes later and we have succeeded. So uh, hopefully now when I go visit the website, here's the website. And if I refresh this, let's see. And here we go. We have our Blazor uh, Blazor application now hosted in our uh, on the on Azure, and uh, it's also public for the world uh, world to visit. Right now, just to to uh, to put some some extra to this video, right? I'm just going to showcase uh, the full CI/CD potential here because so right now I have this one that's continuous deployment uh, trigger is on right and I'm just going to double check this one edit and we're going to go to trigger and we'll see uh, so we're going to do enable continuous integration here as well and then we're going to go and we're going to do uh, save and we're going to do save save now we're going to go back to our blazer uh, to our visual studio and we're just gonna do a small edit in the index file right so this is the index file here welcome to your new app uh, welcome uh, i am not very creative and uh, yes there we go we're gonna keep it like that and we're just gonna press play so that you guys see it at in the local host so Currently, on the local host, it says, welcome, I am not very creative, right? Cool, super cool, really super cool. And on the official website, right, our website, it says just hello world, right? So, now that we've implemented CI CD, every time I create a push to the master branch, which you shouldn't do, right? You should do pull request again. This is not best practices. This is just a implementation demonstration. So here we're just going to add these changes and we're going to say did cool uh, stuff and I'm going to commit those status changes and I'm going to push them. Now on this push, a change happened to the master branch, right? And then per default, my pipeline should trigger. And you can see my pipeline actually did trigger. It triggers just now. So basically, every time uh, something happens with the master branch, uh, this pipeline will now trigger because that's the way I set it up. Uh, you can set it up differently if you want to have different setups, right? So we're going to give this a moment. But technically, as soon as this, this is done, then uh, this should create a release too because I did set up continuous deployment, right? So that continuous deployment had a trigger that listens to the pipeline. So whenever that pipeline is done, my CI pipeline is done, it will create an artifact. This release pipeline will take that artifact, that zip file, and deploy it to the Azure App Service, right? Uh, but this might take a minute again because this pipeline has to, you know, go through all all its steps. Uh, currently still going uh, again i don't want to open it up because uh, there might be some sensitive data or oh, not, not not really i i don't think there is actually uh no here it, it it is anyways you can see it's on the build stage right now uh so when it's now with the build stage it would publish and then publish artifact we're gonna see if we can try to catch it in action so as soon as this this is done again the last step here is create an artifact. You see it's almost done. So we go to the release and you will see here shortly within like 10 seconds, release two will be initiated. There we go, release two. So release two is now the new version of our website. That version uh, contained, hello, I'm not very creative. A very creative sen uh, sentence right so this should take another minute or so there we go uh, this time it only took a minute actually so a minute later and it says we succeeded this uh, deployment now if we go to the website we can actually see the website went down for a short period of period of time right 
uh, sometimes you don't want this to happen because you might have customers on your website 24 7 this is when you would use deployment slots right but about that in another video i'm gonna refresh the website now and here we here you can see on the, the azure server the public website to the world you can see now that welcome i am not very creative so basically every time i do a change in my code and uh, push it uh, to to uh, git or my repos uh, that uh, will uh, then in turn uh, initiate uh, uh, an event of stuff that eventually will take my code and deploy it to to azure and there you go guys this was a very quick uh, tutorial of how you can implement CI CD with Blazor, uh, Azure DevOps and uh, Azure Web Apps. Again, no best practices were used here. I do not recommend you, you doing it like this. Uh, you should add branch policies, you should have multiple branches, uh, uh, you should have multiple steps, you should have deployment stages, etc, etc. Again, quick demonstration. So thank you guys. Bye bye.